Hi, my name is Eric Bernskjold, and in this tutorial, this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save and load selections and how these functions actually work inside of Photoshop. So let's get started right away. I have here a photo of a guy called Steve, and what I want to do is I want to select him. But I also want to keep this selection for the future because when you make complex selections or selections that take quite a while to make, you should really save them so that when the next time you need to maybe extract Steve to another background uh, or for another purpose, you don't have to go through the painful process of doing this perfect selection all over again. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to do a perfect selection, but I am going to uh, use the quick selection tool, and I'm just quickly going to drag over and select roughly Steve. I'm just going to go into, I'm, I'm purposely going to leave out just a tad here uh, at his back and back legs just because I'm going to show you how we can also add and interact with the saved selection. So I'm going to leave just this bit out to remember that for now. Uh, I'm going to make sure though that his shoulders is all in here. Now it doesn't have to be perfect right now, but it would be nice if it actually kept his, kept his head. So let's just quickly make a selection, hair and head. And here we go. That's it. Basically, I think we're done there. Now what I can do, I can save this or I can go to Refine Edge and turn on Smart Radius, increase that a bit. Usually does a good trick. And if I like now, I can go to the Refine Radius tool. I can choose the size here and I can just quickly go here and paint over his hairline up here and his face just to make sure we're refining the selections getting any bits of hair. And I'm also going to erase a bit here so that we get all of his hair with us but we're making a fairly good selection here. Okay, so I'm going to be happy with that. Click OK, and what we have now is a selection of the background behind Steve and I'd like to save that for the future. So I'm going to go to Select, I'm going to come down to Save Selection. And what you can do is you can save this selection either in the current document, which is this one, or you can also create a new document. But the base of all saved selections are channels, and these channels are basic alpha channels. So if you have a custom alpha channel, that's basically something you can use when you save and load a selection. And we can also now here say new channel. Let's say this is a background selection. And since we don't have a current selection saved, we can only create a new channel here. So I'm going to click OK to this. I'm going to deselect, get rid of Steve, and I'm going to look in my channels. And here you can see we have background selection. Now, obviously, missing a piece right here, which is bad. But you might think now that you need to load this as a selection, command clicking on the channel, but that's not the case. You don't actually need to mess with the channels at all. All you need to be able to do is go to select and go to load selection. And here I can choose any alpha channel in this document to load as a selection. I can also invert it right away. And it's going to bring this back up. Now what I can also do is add and subtract intersect with the selection that we've saved. So you don't need to throw away the selection in order to just make minor modifications. I'm going to go ahead and select what I know is missing, which is this piece here. And I'm going to go to select, save selection. In the same document, I'm not going to do a new channel, but I'm going to target background selection. And here's where you need to think. You can replace it and intersect it, but in this case we're going to do either add to or subtract from. Now you need to remember that this is the selection of the background. So if this was a selection of Steve, you'd probably want to add to this selection because you'd like all of this to be in the selection. However, since this is 
a selection of the background, it actually means that the part that I say wasn't selected actually was over selected. None of Steve was selected. So I need to choose subtract from channel here. Click OK. And let's see. Let's go to select. Let's load a selection, background selection, click OK. And here we see we have a perfect selection around the edge here. So what you can do with this now is you can go and save this. You can save this anywhere you like, preferably as a Photoshop document, because then you can go back in and use your saved selection. So that's it for this tutorial. My name is Eric Barnes-Gill. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.